In this video, I will demonstrate how to highlight a single number using a bar graph. Now, with pie charts, bar graphs can be an effective way at communicating that single data point. But if you have concerns about leaving out additional data, as you might with highlighting a single number in a pie chart, we can use a bar graph, still show all of the data points, all of the data categories, but be able to highlight a single data point or single data category without losing the other data. So bar graphs by their nature can carry more pieces of data than, than a single slice we could highlight in a pie chart, um, but we can still rework them to support a single number. So what we're basically going to do is use color to turn down the emphasis on some of the bars and highlight one specific bar. Now humans do a good job at at judging length. So what I want to do is make this graph easy for my audience to see by arranging the bars in a way that makes it easy for the audience to see the relative length of each of the bars but then again highlight that single single number, that single number using color and using its position within the bar graph. So what I have here are some data listing the percentage that a group of professionals use different kinds of graphs. So they've all indicated the percentage of time that they would use a particular graph um, given a particular situation. And so what we want to do is arrange this data in a bar graph and then highlight one specific number, specifically the amount of the frequency that these professionals would use a bar chart. So in order to again emphasize the length or the relative length of, the, of each of the different bars compared to each other, what I want to do is sort the data within Excel and then when I create the chart the bars will be arranged in a way that makes it easier for the, my audience to interpret the relative length. So to do this I want to go uh, to the very right of the home tab of the home tab and click click sort and filter and I want to click down the drop down area arrow and I want to choose custom sort Okay, and this is going to open up a dialog box for us where we'll be able to adjust each of the options to select the column that I want sorted. And in this case, I want to choose the one that has the percentage. So I'm going to choose column B. Okay, and then I want to sort it by smallest to largest. Let me go ahead and click OK. Now, it may seem counterintuitive, and by selecting smallest to largest, what will actually happen is that Excel will put the longest bar on the top of my graph and the smallest bar on the bottom. So Excel kind of does the opposite of what we want it to do in this particular case. Okay, now we can go ahead and highlight all of the data that we want to include in our bar graph. And then we're going to go to the Insert menu, and we're going to Insert a bar chart. So click on that drop down menu and we're going to do a 2D bar chart. So the first option to the left there is the option we're going to choose. And as you can see here we have our bar chart arranged now um, from the greatest number, the greatest value, greatest frequency to the lowest frequency. But the number or the bar I want to highlight is going to be bar chart. And so we'll do a little bit of formatting here to kind of make this chart be a, a little a little more um, impactful. So the first thing I want to do is kind of beef them up a little bit, make them a little bit thicker. So I want to go ahead and right click on the bars and then I want to go ahead and select Format Data Series. And what I want to do is where you can see gap width indicated here, I want to decrease this by quite a bit. I'm going to decrease it to around 60% or so or whatever you might like and I can use this little tab here to make that change. So you can decrease it to around 60% or 50% depending on on your personal preference. So I'm going to decrease it to around 60% here. Okay, and So you can see the bars have become a little thicker, a little chunkier so they're kind of easier to see. Okay, the next thing I want to do is actually change the color of all of the bars. So I'm going to click on the little paint can here and I'm going to change the fill color and I'm going to change it to all of them to gray. 
Okay, but then I'm going to change the one I want to highlight to a different color. So now I want to highlight and double click on bar chart because that's the one I want to change to highlight. Okay, now I'm going to go back to the make sure the paint can is highlighted and now I'm going to change the color to that action color of blue that we have used previously. And so now I've got the bar that I want to highlight is now its own color. Now remember, I want people to, to highlight or to remember a single number. And it's the single number value for that bar chart. And so I, I'm going to go ahead and keep the x-axis and the grid lines so that the value of the other bars in the graph can be estimated and compared to one another. What I want to do is add a data label to the bar chart bar so I can highlight the actual value of that one particular bar. And then that way my single number is precise, isolated, and emphasized. So here's how I will do that. So I'm going to highlight, again, the bar chart, the one that I'm interested in. I'm going to highlight that. I'm going to double click on it so it's highlighted all by itself. And then I'm going to right click on the bar and I'm going to check Add Data Label. Okay. Now the data label is on the outside as you can see but what I would like to do is move that to the inside uh, of, of the bar so again we can identify that particular number with that particular bar. So click on the data label twice and then right click on it and then select format data label and the dialog box that opens up look for label position and then I want to change the radio button from outside end you can see it is right now outside end I want to change it to inside end and so now it's inside my actual bar and then as my last step I want to change the, the color of that text so that it, it doesn't get lost in the dark blue so I'm gonna go ahead and and change that to white so now I want to highlight the text options and then I want to change the color of my text from black to white and you can see now it pops out nicely um, within that bar now usually we don't need to have both data labels and an x-axis along the bottom here. Um, it tends to be just repetitive information and makes the chart looks, look busier than it needs to. But in this case, we are on purpose or intentionally repeating with a data label on this single bar we want to emphasize so we can give it more emphasis and give it more attention and so our audience will focus more on that number and also remember that number. So this is a good strategy to really give focus, definitive focus, to a single number that you want, you want to boost, but without losing all the other data or de-emphasizing all the other data. So we can still see the other bars, but we're emphasizing this one single bar. So hopefully you found this technique to be useful, um, and good luck using this in your own presentation.